is a little character you might come across in the southeast of Australia. It's one of the snake neck tortoises. You can see how it gets its name. Look at that very long neck curled round there, tucked under the shell. Actually, it's a good sort of neck. It uh, can go in either way. If you ever want to get a tortoise out, never prize it hard, certainly not with a stick. Only ever use your finger, but don't if the tortoise resists. This one's not too worried, so I'll be able to give it a helping hand. But you can see that's gone in on the left-hand side. If it comes out and sees danger coming from the other direction, you notice that the neck can actually go in on the other direction, on the right-hand side. So it's a very versatile one. But while it's out, let's look at what it's got. Look at those beautiful eyes. They've got this very large golden ring. If we make it blink by being very careful but just touching near the eye, you notice that it blinks from the bottom up. There's the eyelid. comes up, goes down again. And what's more, it's transparent. See the eye through? It means that when it's hunting for shrimp and things that it eats, it can see even when its eyes closed. And if something's hunting it, it can see even when its eyes closed. A very natty trick. You can also hear. You can see that little sort of uh, circle there, egg-shaped circle. That's its ear. Not like your ear or my ear, but it's uh, an ear nonetheless you can hear. Very large mouth because it's a snapping feeder. And that's important if you keep these as pets. They make very good pets, but you have to know how to feed them. They feed underwater. And if they come to you as babies and you don't know how to feed them, they'll simply die of uh, starvation. Feed them underwater by putting the, the food, a worm or a bit of lean meat on the end of a wire, waving it in front of their mouth, that enormous mouth opens up and gulp, it's gone. Don't incidentally use uh, commercial mincemeat, it's full of preservative and can kill them quite quickly. Well those eyes and the nostrils are in a very good position for swimming because if it holds the head like that, you can see that the eyes and the nostrils are going to be above the surface of the water than nothing else is. That's if the neck is extended. So you can go around breathing and seeing without uh, the rest of it poking above the water. And of course, if it's a swimmer, you'd expect it to have feet to match, and it's got them. Here we are. Once the head's out, you can get everything out. There's a little swimming foot, and you notice between the fingers it's got webbing, which makes it very good in the water. And on the ends of the fingers, it's got claws, which means it can scrabble its way over the ground, which it does slowly, but rather well, and it can dig holes to put the eggs in. Well, is it a tortoise or a turtle? Depends what country you live in. In Australia, we tend to say turtles live in the sea and they've got flippers. This one walks around on land and has feet. But the true tortoises don't really go in the water. So the best term for this is probably a freshwater tortoise. And Australia's got about 18 forms of it.